Hello, hello, and welcome to Sound Wisdom Tarot with me, Shannon Rose Scott, your favorite tarot reader, here for a love reading today, a love reading, a love reading for our collective, meaning that this is a general love reading for the collective, so everything in this reading may or may not resonate with you. Just take the things that fit your situation and leave the rest behind. Okay, collective? And if you are looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer personals. So please check out the description box below. But spirit guides, high divine, intergalactical beings, please help me connect to the spirit guides of our collective in this love reading. Thank you. Ooh. Let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace. And carry on. Mm. So like the weather, my collective, things have to be able to come and go. And we need to be able to find that place within where we're okay with ourselves, no matter what our relationships are, are in the process of becoming. It's like this lady on the beach here She's not going to let this storm disturb her peace. She's here to enjoy the beach this present moment, regardless of what storms come. We need to be like that in our relationships. I'm picking up on a, the collective watching this particular reading has been really letting other people determine if you're happy or sad, if you're anxious or calm. And this is a message from your spirit guides asking you to find your own center of calm within and not letting things, not letting outside sources affect your inner peace. Okay. So let's get a past, present, future reading regarding love for our collective tuning in. Past, present, future, please, spirit. Past, thank you. Yeah, okay, present. Present. Regarding love. Present. <sighs> okay, this one's kind of turned sideways. There's quite a few. I'll take them. And future, please. Future. Future. Possible future. Possible next steps. Of course, the future is never set in stone, collective. Never set in stone. It's what we make of it. It's what we do with... Thank you. It's what we do with the information we receive and what we make of it. Okay, I wanted one more for the present because those other ones kind of came out sideways. Mmm, all right. Thank you, Spirit. What are we getting into here, Collective? You've gone through something. You've gone through something pretty powerful here. Okay, so in your past, in your past, you have the wheel reversed, the wheel reversed. This is a sign of like not going with the flow with the changes that had been going on. So in your recent past, you've been clinging, clinging to an old way, an old way of relating, an old way of behaving in relationships. And you haven't been letting yourself rise up 
like the upright version of this card would be indicating, right? You've been like still circling around on this karmic wheel of kind of unconscious behaviors. And yet things are changing. Things already have changed, but you've been clinging on. You've had a real tough time letting these old ways go. I get that. I can appreciate that. It feels like your relationships haven't been successful because we have six of wands in reverse. So you didn't receive the recognition you needed and deserved in your relationships. And even currently, right? This is the current situation now. Currently, you're not receiving the recognition you deserve. And so because of that, you're feeling torn. You're looking at other possibilities here, two of wands. Yeah, you're looking into your options. You're holding on to one rod here with another one behind you. And you're looking out the window at all the possibilities without actually choosing one, right? Without actually going for it. You've got a world of adventure calling you that you want to follow. But you haven't quite made that decision to leave this old rod behind. You've put it to the side. You're not like... You're not really giving it a lot of energy. But you're also not totally moving forward. But there's a part of you, your heart wants you to move forward towards this new event adventure. It's time to leave this old situationship behind. The one that hasn't given you the success you want. It's time to start a brand new adventure right now. To go on a brand new fool's journey. Yeah, the fool doesn't mean being foolish. The fool's journey is actually the wisest thing you can begin. It's letting yourself start brand new with like a whole new clean slate without bringing the baggage from the past with you. But you're having a hard time leaving it behind. We've got six of swords in reverse. So just how like the wheel was in reverse and you're struggling to, to go with the changes. You're also really struggling to leave the challenges behind. There's this huge challenging situationship that, that you're, you're staying in right now. And it's chaotic. It's not great, right? You're meant to go on though to calmer waters. You actually have a lot of abundance right here, right now, that you're not even seeing. So when I look at the other cards, your other cards are like looking away from this abundance. You're not even seeing all the abundance that is right here, the Queen of Pentacles. You're not even seeing that. You've got an abundance. Now, abundance is not just money, though it can be. It can be abundance of finances, abundance of jobs, friends, love, opportunities, like this world card and this VW bus are showing. <laughs> Maybe you wanna go off for van life or something, right? Is there somebody here watching who's like dreaming of van life? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've got the abundance to do this. You've got the abundance to do that. But you, you need to shift out of those past ways of being in relationship. You need to let that challenging, murky current, just you need to move off from it. The tower's here. Yeah. 
the divine is trying to tear down your current old life so that you can move on. Just like a strike of lightning, the divine is trying really hard right now to break your world down for your benefit. If you're feeling like you've got nothing to hold on to right now, that everything is confusing and falling apart, you're exactly where you need to be. It's not comfortable. I get that. It's never comfortable. But you're right now, you're still just kind of staying put. Letting yourself be in the discomfort instead of going off into this beautiful new adventure waiting for you. You have the Four of Cups in reverse. It's time to stop thinking so much about what it is you don't like and let yourself go towards your heart. Because the more you stay stuck, right, the more you're actually preventing your king of pentacles. You have both the king and the queen of pentacles in your current energy, but the king was reversed. Queen's upright. So you have all this abundance, but you will be blocking it if you stay put, okay? If you don't let yourself move on to the next adventure, to the next thing. That's why the tower's here, because even the divine is like, okay, you're not moving on. I'm going to cause some things to fall apart here to really make sure you do move on. <laughs> but you also have the lovers here. Upright. You've got love right here, right now. And you're being asked to make a choice regarding your true heart's desires. This love could be in the form of a person or it could be in the form of this adventure. Or maybe they're interrelated. But we have two of wands needing to make a choice. The lovers also needing to make a choice based on your passion, your what fires you up, what gets you excited. Like in the morning when you wake up, if you're not feeling excited about your life, you're not following your heart. And if you keep going the way you have been going, you've got chariot in reverse and star in reverse. So if you let yourself stay stuck in this wheel of karma, right? Your old behaviors, your old mindsets, the old way of like relating to people, talking to people, dating people. If you let yourself stay there, it's not going to lead to the healing you're looking for. It's not going to lead to you even being able to direct the path of your life. Instead, you'll stay caught up in like, this confusion of not really liking your life, but not understanding where you need to go and just letting yourself be at the whim of others. It's like letting yourself get caught up in the storm and going with it instead of staying true and calm and in your own stillness, no matter what's happened to you. So this is a warning from your spirit guides to make that choice to move on from this past thing and start directing your own life instead. You're meant to be the chariot driver. It doesn't mean you're not, it doesn't mean that you're not going to feel uncomfortable. 
you will feel uncomfortable. There'll be times where you have to fight with your own heart, you know, where part of you tells you to go one way and another part of you tells you to go the other. You got to learn how to work with your light and your shadow, with your desires, dreams, and practicality. You've got to learn how to work with these two different forces so that they work for you, not against you. So that you're the driver instead of just being taken off into the storm. So that you can choose when you go and when you stop. Your spirit guides want you to be able to heal from this past of not being recognized by your loves. from even this current state of not being recognized. But again, if you don't leave it behind, you're keeping yourself from healing. Blocking your abundance, blocking the true King of Pentacles, you're meant to have your counterpart come in, but you're blocking it right now. Sometimes the lover's card comes up too and we need to reach to that high state of love, which doesn't always mean like just like that high state of love doesn't mean clinging on to a love just because it's here. It means being brave enough to release that love if it isn't working. If it's not the right love anymore. Why was the wheel in reverse, please, spirit? Why was the wheel in reverse? Mm -hmm, yeah. Again, you're broken hearted. You, you haven't been allowing new loves. You've been holding on to some sort of old love that just wasn't, wasn't working for you. You were holding on so tightly, four of pentacles in reverse. You've been holding on to it too much. Why was the star and the chariot in reverse in the new in the upcoming future, please? Why was the star and the chariot in reverse? Please clarify. Let's clarify. Thank you. Ah, yeah. Okay, so you're meant to be the magician of your life. Mm, you are meant to create. Create the love of your dreams. You're being called to dig really deep and to access the, all the tools of your trade, okay? So all the things that you know make you a wonderful person, a wonderful love, a wonderful creator. This is the time for you to start envisioning the type of love you really want, right? As you're looking off in this card, two of wands to this like other adventure, I want you to spend more time really letting yourself dream that clearly. Okay, you've already put this one rod to the side. You know you don't want that but you're having trouble making the leap into it. So I want you to get really clear about what it would feel like. You have the potential to manifest huge. You got the magician. That means you can create something that's never been created before. The magician means you have the power to 
like manifest out of thin air the relationship of your dreams. But you've got to do the work to, to bring it in. And that work means act, like the manifestation part is visualizing it, is getting clear about who it is you want. Because you've been just spending a lot of time focusing on the, on the things you don't want. All right, Four of Cups energy. Focusing on what you don't want. Not moving off from this challenging situation. You need to be using all the tools at hand so you're thinking, you're feeling like how is it you want to feel? You haven't been feeling recognized. I want you to start imagining what it would be like if you were recognized. What kind of a lover recognizes you? What kind of traits do they have? What are the things you want them to appreciate in you? What is the love? What is your love language? Right? And what is the love language you require in your partner? The tower's here to tear down that old situationship. You get to manifest and create a brand new, a brand new one. But you've got to move towards it. You got to make that choice, that high divine lover's choice to actually go for what you want. And allow yourself to bring in your true, your true king of pentacles. You're the queen. Doesn't matter what gender you are. You're the queen. You're, you're, you can bring in this king if you, if you stop stopping your abundance. <laughs> mm, so let's get a moonology card to help. Thank you to help wrap this up. Oh, yeah, it's a time for healing. It is a time for healing. Star card. That's why you're, you haven't been moving on yet. You haven't given yourself time to heal. So the next steps, you're meant to take time to heal. Let yourself acknowledge the pains of not being recognized, of perhaps not being chosen, of all the behaviors you kept engaging in that kept you staying stuck, right? You get to heal from that too. That's not to like judge yourself by, but you got to heal from the fact that you kept choosing that. And the way to heal is to recognize it, acknowledge, not in a judgy way, as best you can without judgment. View it as the lesson. What things do you need to let come and go instead of hold on to so tightly? I'd like you for the next number is quite prevalent here. For the next 17 days, the star card for the next 17 days, I'd like you to write one thing down about yourself that you really love. Not something that somebody else loves about you, or that you think you should love about yourself, things you actually love. One new thing every day, just one, for 17 days, as a way to help yourself heal. Because healing also means like appreciating yourself, especially since you haven't been appreciated. 
I want you to start calling in your abundance and your ability to be the queen and have your king by taking this time to heal yourself so that you know without a doubt that you're good enough just as you are no matter how you've been treated. Thank you, Spirit, for this message. My collective, I feel for you. Yeah, if this resonated with you, I'd love to hear how. Would you please comment below? And whether it resonated or not, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, help a girl out, and help grow this channel together so that I can keep spreading these messages from your own intuitive spirit to as many people as need it. Let's close this out with some healing sounds from the Himalayan bowl. Thank you, Sound Wisdom Collective. You mean the world to me. I've really appreciated all my new subscribers, current subscribers, old subscribers, and I appreciate your comments, your likes. I read them all. Thank you so much. Here's a little healing energy for you. As you move on from the past and bring in your healing healing love. For those still with me right now, I'm guided to let you know that this healing will take a little bit of time. That sound took a while to emerge. I had to do a little extra clearing, cleansing. That means you're going to need to. That was your energy. So you need to, uh, it, it's going to take a little bit of, of purging for this healing to happen. You need to do more releasing before you can really bring in the love you seek. So release, release, release. Breathe out. Walk it out. Spend a lot of time using this exhaling breath. The letting go breath, breathing in through the nose. Exhale, open mouth. Ha. Walk, go walk in nature, ideally even beside like a cleansing river or ocean or lake. But walk, walk, and imagine sending out the old energy with each step more and more and more. Perhaps have a safe burning bowl ceremony and really help yourself release the past.
delete old phone numbers, delete old messages, release, 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 so that you can bring in the new. Because yes, it was hard to bring in the healing until you've released the old. Big love to you, Collective. Until next time.